All right, we'll call the meeting to order at 6.30. Um, triple of minutes, July 24th and July 1st. Um, I'm sorry to say I still didn't see the 24th. Neither did I, so I'm okay. not so bad. <laughs> okay, yeah, I will see the first. share it with you specifically. It, it is on the drive, so... Um, oh, okay, but seeing it shared with it. Was it you that did it, or was it her that did it? Well, <coughs> you helped. I, she helped I, with some formatting. Okay. 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 Um, I'll probably have it in the office if you want it. Uh, no, it's, 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 it's okay. We can table it, but just know that you can search for it on the drive with the shared with me, and then select board meetings, and mm -hmm. then um, there's a draft minutes folder, and it's in there. But I will okay. share it so, so that you can find it in your email. We can we can uh, approve the minutes of the first yep. if those look, look fine with me. That was, that was good. Okay, so by consensus, we're going to approve the July first. And we will bring the minutes of the July 24th until the next meeting. Yes, please. Yes. All right. Community input. No? Okay. Department heads. Town clerk. I just want to come in and um, go over with you and Miles just a little bit about my day and how it's, it's expanding in our office. Um, I sent you just my little notes that I make each day as was recommended to me. But um, at any point you can ask me what my little comments are, you know, the different hours that I'm here. Um, Andrea goes to the bank on Mondays. I'm required to go every Wednesday and Friday with the state. So that involves, we cash out every day. So even though, you know, you might think I work 91, you really have to come in at least 20 minutes early to open up. You've got to open the safe, you've got to open the uh, DMV site, you have to open my town site. Um, and so it requires more time and I'd like to answer my emails and my um, voicemails before we open. Because like today, the minute we open, I, you know, barely leave my window. It's, it's busy. And I think you've seen in town where, you know, the highway department, we've added to, we've added to the uh, transfer station, to Caroline's office, and our office is getting just as busy. It's a busy little town. And I've always put in closer to 23 hours. And now I think it's time that I start getting paid for either like 23 or 25 hours, depending on what I work that week. But they, they vary. Now, you're not going to see hardly any time in the summer because that's when everything is clear. But I want to bring this up and I want to start documenting it because next year there are four elections. And an election involves Saturdays, nights, um, you know, every time we have an election, I have to come in on, there's at least three Saturdays where military people can either fax, mail, or email me um, a request for a ballot, and we're required to be here for like three hours. And then the supervisors of the checklist, every time they have to meet, I have to set up a spot, come in, you know. It, there's a lot more to it than, than I think anybody knows. And I, I am going to keep track of it. But I just want the board to know that when I go before the budget and present my budget, that I at least want to get paid for the hours, you know, that I'm putting in. Because like every department, I'm busy. It's it's a busy. Our um, deaths, births, and marriages have taken a really big uptick because now nobody's taking older documents. Um, if you were married 50 years ago and your spouse passes away, they no longer will take your marriage certificate. You have to come in and get one on safety paper. The license, you have to get a safety paper one. Um, if you, from your birth certificate. They won't take the little pieces that were given out in the 40s, 50s, 60s, not even in the 80s because of the fraud. And all of my programs are on timers. So if I'm at the DMV site and somebody comes in for a birth certificate, that time is out. So I have to go sit at my desk to do either the birth, death, or um, what's the other one, marriage. And if someone comes to the window, I have to jump up to the window, and then it times up, I have to start over again. It, they're all set up that way. Is so, that a 
a program in that we give to you, or no, is it a program state. for the state? The whole state. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I find myself if I really want to concentrate and get something done, I have to do it when my window's closed. And I have a lot of fleets, like I noted on here, two hours for. Um, and I know you know it doesn't mean anything to you guys, but I just jot it down uh, to do the jailbreak leases. So when I have a, a fleet of 50 cars, I can't be doing that and then take the next customer and go back to that. You have, you have to finish it. So I usually come in you know, before or after hours to do those. And even in a small little town, I've got Janco, CNJ, Sam Mix fleet is due. That'll take me at least two hours. Um, I have, uh, there's another big one that I do, the oil refinery. There's, I mean, there's like nine or ten of them, but I just kind of wanted to give you an idea. Um, I had an audit from the DMV, and I don't know if you guys are aware that I, you know, I have to have that done every year, and that takes additional time. They come in beforehand. Um, and then I have inventory for the DMV at the end of June, which is a nightmare, because you can't be open. You can't be issuing stickers and plates when you have everything inventory, so obviously that's consumes more time. So I just wanted to give you just a little heads up of what some of my little notes are and feel free to ask me. But going forward, Caroline's asked me to do a timesheet, which I'll gladly do. But I just really want to stress that before I get into that season, it's going to be just an enormous amount of hours. And that's fine. I'm willing to do it. But I can't. It gets more and more difficult to take time out of the office. And and if I don't get paid for it and I don't take the time off, then, you know, I don't think anybody would do that. It's just getting to be um, busier. So you said that one of the things that you have, it, it's the elections yes. and that you have for next year. Yeah. But you get a stipend for your elections. Yes. Don't you believe that you should increase your stipend versus yes. your town clerk versus not, not, because that is strictly what you do for sure. elections. True, and I did, and last year it was budgeted uh, at 500, but it didn't pass. Per no, election. it was, is it at 200 for it's each election? Now, for it each used election. to be that you'd only get like 200 for the year. Right. Now it's 200 per election, right. even though we only had one election this year, and that's why you only got the one 200. Right. But my suggestion on the election part of it is that you consider a an addition to your stipend for those elections because. There's four, you said there's four elections next year? Yes. Okay, so that's going to be additional work, clearly, for you for four elections. So right. that's, I think, the, because increasing your town clerk's salary is for, in my opinion, it's for the administrative work in, inside the office here. True. Where elections, and I'm assuming you're going to go down Legion again for each one? I don't think we'll ever have it here again. Yeah. I just think that um, now that we have... Um, the machine, and uh, I just think it, it just has to be. I'm and they're willing gonna, to have I'm it. not going to try to play it back and forth. I mean, we do have a smaller <laughs> one coming up that we might be able to do here, but it's just too confusing for people. I think you need to stay just keep uh, it consistent. Consistent, yeah. I think that makes now sense that, for other people. Yeah, and the, and the big decision was after SD2, where we have two and three ballots, you know, there's just not enough. We used to be able to move people right in and out with a ballot, mm -hmm. but now it just it's going to have to be, you know, at the Legion. And I do understand that if I were to get an increase for that. But outside of my elections, there's still, except for summer, because now that, you know, the dogs and the town report and all of our meetings and everything that comes in is done. As of July 1st, all the dogs are collected, so it's just auto renewals and death, birth, and marriages. Mm -hmm. So I don't anticipate any additional time in the next three months, but I mean, it, it, now they've closed the um, Citizens Bank up here, mm -hmm. so, which was a little bit easier for us, but now we have to go over to um, Summersworth, over to like the Market Basket one. What, what's wrong with content, uh, the uh, con constitutional? Uh, well, it's about so, the same. Uh, no, it's only two point. A, uh, 0.2 miles difference from what it was on Central um, Row it? 4. It's not that well, much difference. They, for whatever reason, the branch manager there won't fax us the receipts. We have to go back to the receipts. So we do our night deposit, you do your deposit, and then you have to go back to get the receipts. The one up by Summersworth, 
they fax us the, the receipts. So we don't have to make a second trip up. See, we were making two trips for every, you would deposit, I would deposit on Wednesday, pick up my slips Thursday, deposit on Friday, pick up my slips on Monday. And that's required by the state that I deposit twice a week. And you don't think you should talk to someone who's above her? I mean, well, it I seems could. to me like it's a I could. Well, minuscule. Whether I go in either direction, it's still, you know, it's still additional time. No, I'm saying talk to somebody over there to fax them to you. No, so you I'm don't not, have to make two I, trips. I will, but um, we've just made this arrangement with the one up in Summersworth, and it's working out well that we... That's costing you more time. Yeah. But yeah. Andrew and I try to, you know, like, do an errand while we're up that way, or try mm -hmm. to plan our... But it doesn't always work that way, and a lot of times we're just out and have to go up to get change, or... Um, so it just involves, you know, there's just... There's a lot of hours I've always put in since I started the job, but now I just, I've, I've masked it. And uh, I just feel I should get paid for the, the time. Because I'm not the, in a lot of places you can go, it's not like people walk in at 9 o'clock and I roll up my shade and they've got to wait while I turn on my system and count out my drawer and empty my emails. And I mean, I'm ready to open. At 9 o'clock, I'm always, the, the shade's open and I'm ready for business. And, I mean, it takes a little time, and now, after the last customer comes in, you have to run the reports and do the deposit. So it's time on both ends. And it might seem small, like 10 here, 15 there, 20 here, but when I started adding it up a couple of years ago, I thought, you know, it's, it's a lot more than I thought. So I just wanted to... I, I think having your timesheet is a, is a great idea. Yeah. You, obviously, you're not required to because you're not... No, and I'm not... Um, I don't object to doing it. But it will show very clearly right. the hours you're putting in. And again, you know, I'll make notations like, you know, open and close banking. Uh, you know, Marshwood High, I had to go. Um, every year they have me go over and um, register all the kids who are 18 from Rollins. But, um, and, you know, that's it. To vote. To vote. To vote. Oh. Um, you know, that was an hour and a half. I mean, there are things that... You know, just don't realize that I do. And that's why well, I it's very, it was very difficult to read that because your your seal in the middle covered all of your yeah. numbers, <laughs> so but I couldn't I, read it when you, know, you faxed I can, it. I, that's why I wanted to come in and kind of give you an idea of the stuff that I have to do. Um, and not just, uh, I mean, there's two parts to this. There's the elections, mm -hmm. which, you know, I think my stipend should be increased for that. And then there's, you know, the times of the year that I really... In 23 or 25 hours. But you told me that when you take your Fridays off, that's compensating for that time. But it still doesn't. It doesn't. You'll see when I do it for the year, you'll see that I'm not even close. Okay. It's difficult for me to take a week off. It's actually easier for me to be closed Fridays and be here four days a week because, I mean, Andrea's only here 16 hours a week and she's got more than enough to do. And for somebody to have to do both jobs, it's 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 actually it's not good because I on the thirtieth, Carolyn can tell you, I had taxes coming in, I had my inventory, I had cars coming through the roof, and then something else blew up that day. It's not good to multitask like that when I'm taking big checks and doing transactions and I'm into you know two or three drawers. It's not it's not good. You know, it's room for error. So what are you looking for? Additional help or additional time? I want to be paid for the extra time when I work it. But how does that solve your other problem? I don't know how to solve it because it's... I don't know how we would hire somebody that would possibly come the beginning of the month and the end of the month. I need someone... It's not a steady schedule. Like, whoever... If we were to hire somebody, they basically could have the summers off because we don't need... You know, so I don't know who would take a position that was, you know, we need you, you know, two days this month, or we need you four hours here. Or, and you have to be trained through the, you have to go through the DMV. It's quite an extensive training through the MA. Mm -hmm. And um, I just don't, you know, Carolyn has some ideas about that that we're talking about, and, you know, getting Chuck in here, and the possibility of somebody who may want to be a floater would be great. Mm -hmm. And, you know... I mean, Chuck's just been unbelievable.
help to all three of us. I don't think people realize how much we get interrupted in a day. You, you can't... Well, that's a window. I mean, yeah. Yeah, you can't yeah. do one thing. And when I'm doing a birth certificate or a marriage, I really have to concentrate and, you know, do it correctly. Mm -hmm. And the phones are ringing and you know, it's just... It's busy. It's a busy little office. So, that's... Uh, I just wanted to come in and start that so that it doesn't all... My information doesn't come during budget season. And feel free to shoot me some questions. So, you know. so you're going to start doing the time sheets on a weekly yep. basis and yep. turn them into Caroline? Yep. Okay. Yep. And again, they'll be quiet for the summer. I don't think I have anything because it's, you know, when there's elections, I'm here even on Saturdays. But we need time sheets like every week so we see yeah. where there's up and down and, you yeah. know, like, so if the summer's quiet, we know that that's right. not a problem. But right. I, w I would like to see it yeah. every week. Oh, yeah, no, I'll do it for okay. a year. You'll, you'll see. And, and you can calculate them. You'll be amazed. <laughs> I, I can't possibly take the time off. There's just not enough. So, any other questions? No. Oh, no, good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, can you tell me how you made out with your printer? Did you? Did we get? Um, uh, Tom. Tom to look at the black and white one. Tom's coming in tomorrow, okay. so I was going to discuss that with him as okay. well. But just looking for. What's the least expensive black and white option that? And I think he found one, and it was at Staples, and it was over a thousand. I think it was twelve so hundred, yeah. and it takes two days to get it. So the just other one know, was eleven something. Yeah. So just know that, and this is what the state is doing. I don't think anybody realizes how much of my job is dictated by the state. Mm -hmm. All the things that I have to do, yet I don't get a dime from them. Mm -hmm. um, but the Printer, when it does go, I mean, I can't do anything. Mm -hmm. So I would have to shut down. So it's, it's we got to get the purchase order ready and find somebody that can expedite the uh, printer. Over I there. thought black and white would be cheaper, much cheaper, because you said oh, it didn't need color. color. Oh God, no. I know, but, but clearly it's, it's not. Tray. It's a dual tray, though. Right, but it was eleven hundred for the colored one dual tray. Oh yeah, no, I don't need color. But good. you're telling me it's twelve hundred for the black and white, so. I mean, well, the last one that he got, the price that he got, so we'll, we'll see. I thought it would be too much. Uh, I thought it would be. I know the ink will be cheaper for sure. See, or the state is pushing all, more and more onto the towns. I know. I know. You know, they made us put our own VPN in, and now they're doing, you know, we have to get our own um, printer, and next is going to be the computer. And you're going to see state offices shut down until the clerks will be doing mm -hmm. everything that they do. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, that's what they're doing with the roads, they're doing with everything. So, no different in our little corner of the world here. And okay. anybody needs a nice little kitty, let me know. Did you get your pen? Okay. Is it mine? I, well, what? I, think it's yours. There. I think it was there. I think you came with it. Uh, I got my keys from my office and I didn't bring it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I probably have to lock myself out. Please. Substituting for the next. Uh, okay. I just have I just have a purchase order uh, for vehicle maintenance for two thousand dollars for some various repairs on one of our cruisers. All right. Uh, I'll move purchase order one six nine zero to the city of Dover. So is this up to two thousand? Uh, just the 2000 It's yeah. 2000 for repairs to Cruiser 74, water pump, seals, and exhaust. I'll second it. So, um, which one is Cruiser 74? 74 is our oldest SUV. Okay. So it's not the one that's coming on the line this year. Okay. Uh, it would be the next one to be replaced. It's about 126,000 miles on it. Um, so this is just the gold and yeah. our mileage and some like, bricks. <laughs> all right. Any questions? All right. All those in favor of uh, purchase order 1690, say aye. 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 Do you want to see this? Bob gets them. Do we keep a copy? He can keep them. He can keep an All right. Bob gets that back. Well, I have to sign it first. I was told I would get both of them. Oh, okay. Yeah, I should sign them. Oh, okay.
Okay, nope. Well, you can put it in a hot tub, cold, like cold patch. Yeah. I don't know how that's going, though. That's cheap. Yeah, you could have done with cold patch, but you have to pay Well, no, but it's the same line. Right. Cold patch, hot tub. Cold patch, All right. All right. Any other questions? Um, nope. All right, hearing none, all those in favor of purchase order 1624 for $500 for Brox Industries, say aye. 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 All those opposed, none. All right. Copy. No. Okay. No. Okay. Well, actually, if you get to the office, you don't okay. think you have your right. Cricket lane drainage. Yeah, we Caroline and I took a ride down here and looked at that. Uh, you know, how much we want to do to that, and we're gonna have to talk with the water department and see how we can do something down there, or we can probably put a swale in along the edge of the road to divert the water. Is this the town's issue? I mean, when you start taking on something that belongs to another department or another... Well, so it's not that it belongs to the water department. It's just that the land that you would put a swale on belongs to the water. It just like it could belong to a homeowner, it happens to belong to the water sewer district. So you would want to notify them and talk to them before you do anything to the water land. Water. That doesn't mean that it's their problem. The problem seems to stem from the residents hauling lawn debris, leaves and such, um, to the center of the cul-de-sac, but more importantly, to the bottom of the cul-de-sac, downhill where the water really ought to drain. So he can go in and kind of clear out a path for water through all the leaves and probably should put some signs up telling people not to dump debris in those areas. Because it's clogging up the water path. However, it seems from the layout, though, that because the driveway is downhill at the cul-de-sac, which is downhill from the rest of the road, that they're still going to get a bit of water. It's just the physics of being downhill from yeah, the road the at the end of the development. So, you know, I think the swale would help a lot, but I think the problem this winter they were experiencing was exacerbated by frozen snow banks and then rain in the middle of winter. Mm -hmm. And and that's fairly new. That didn't used to happen. Is that the first we've heard about this problem was this year, or last year? Or has that been Well, um that is the first that the people here now have heard about it. Um the homeowners apparently the fire department I think got involved yeah, well, they had some a couple of years. Jeff has opened it up before. But not the pre so not the previous road agent, but like the road agent three road agents ago or mm -hmm. something. It was a different Jeff that had cleared it out. And so that's why the property owners approached the town, because they were hoping the town would do something like that. <coughs> well, clearing it out would just mean you're going in with the back hose. Each year it's just opening it up a little bit. I mean, they got to stop dumping leaves. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I think we start. No, who's dumping them there? The neighbors that were the whole area? Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's, they're bringing on their own problems. Mm -hmm. Is the land they're dumping it on the neighbors or the water? Well, it's building up the cul-de-sac, so that's town land. The, the inside of the circle of the cul-de-sac is filled with leaves. You, you, just, you, know, I mean, you can just take a ride. You can see the stuff. Okay, so you're, you're saying the cul-de-sac is going like that, so it's in the in center the of it? It's in the center and it's at the bottom. And then beyond it, they dump along the outside edge on the right away that goes to the pool of well. Okay. Yeah, I, I can put up an illegal dumping sign. And it's it's a stormwater issue, mm -hmm. mildly about mm -hmm. the leaf from on the ground. You know, I mean, I drive down Main Street, see people in wheelbarrow and their lawn cuttings across the street by the railroad tracks. I mean, I've you know, seen that is, as well. Yeah. You know, it's it's not your property. Why are you doing that? <laughs> We should, do we have money in the budget for some signs? I mean, it's not a case where it's, I mean, it's, it's time, that's all. Um, would we have money for signs, though, to, oh, put, to put some sign-ups so there? I think we definitely need to put that, I don't know if you can say fine imposed or, you know, if, you know. I don't know if you can do a fine without an ordinance. You can't, okay. I don't, I'm not saying you can't. I mean, there's can, a sign on Foundry Street that says right. $300 or whatever. Right, it's literally. 
on not on not on it's littering on public property. Is it littering? <laughs> that's, you're taking that's your crap. And, sorry, that's that's you're taking your, <laughs> is your um, bad leaves and dumping well, it on somebody else's property. Why is that not littering? I suppose it is. I, I just I I, I oh, consider wait, litter to be trash rather than compost compostable material. But. But it's, but it's still not yours and you're putting it you're there. You're putting it on somebody and it is causing us problems, which is causing us money. I think it should include, I think it would be helpful to reach out to those homeowners in that area or send them a letter and, yep. and just say this is the that problem. And, 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 and not in lieu of signs, I think signs still is a reminder, um, but mm -hmm. tell them we see this and this is a problem and it can't We have a transfer station, we don't charge for that stuff. Right, that's why I don't understand why people don't bring them down. Because it's easier. Yeah. Well, well at least right, they don't need a truck, they don't need a trailer, they, they don't need any of the Yeah. 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 We probably should put a sign up and we should yeah. probably maybe send something to the homeowners just to say that this is causing your neighbors to have flooding issues and, and it's causing our stormwater problem. I mean, the fire department had to go out. That costs... Well, they have, they have, I think they have to pump their cellar or something. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. However, now they have two railways to this well, apparently, one on each side of the house. It's... To, to Porter's well? Yeah. That house in particular? It, it appears. Like, I'm not sure if the one to the right of the house really goes to the well, but it definitely looks like a road, and where else would it go but to the... Well, I mean, I guess you go to the out, backyard. When the water comes down the road, it crosses that driveway, and that's not flooding in. Yeah, but I mean, again, you're at the bottom of the hill. Mm -hmm. Like, can they put up a ridge of tar to divert the. We could, I mean, not, not us, but. I mean, I'll I've seen. I've seen do we owe? Well, but yeah, but there has one to be continued to the it has to be at the edge of the pavement, which is that property. Yeah. Well, right, but it could be right at the edge of the pavement because there are ones. Correct. Correct. You could put a short, a small curve. Well, how does that affect you for plowing? No, no. Put the, sh the short curve, just a, like a, they call it a Cape Cod curve. Well, plowing right up. That's the uh, roadway, but but we're talking about the driveway. The driveway they've already have when there's an excessive amount of water they're going to get again. If they would have had a culvert across their driveway, yeah. maybe that's what we're going to But they're not the original builders or anything. No, they're just someone who looked in. Yeah. Well, but you don't want to culvert under the driveway necessarily if you have um, no, because Cape you'd have Cod. You'd have to put a ditch. So Cape Cod could have would, would eliminate the need of the culvert, but to some degree it's going to direct it into the driveway. Well, I mean, we could put a small curve around that edge, but they're going to have a, a little bumpy one if you did that. But it's, they were going to get past their house. Why would we do that? Why wouldn't they do that? Uh, I'm just talking Well, so the curb we would want to do because it's the road and you don't want to let private people do things okay. to the road. Okay. The thing at the end of the driveway, I think is discretionary, but since it really has to do with the driveway, maybe they should do it. As long as George is inspecting it to ensure that it's not really within the roadway. Okay. Uh, it's got to be looked at and see what the cost is going to be there too. Yeah. It's not cheap put in. Yeah. I mean, if we if we did it ourselves, you know, we could do it for the seventy some odd dollars a temple, and you get a company to come in and put it through the end, you are talking a lot more money. So if they if that got all cleaned out and nobody continued to dump in there, is that gonna solve the problem? No. Not there. No. Okay. So that's okay. always gonna be a problem. But the what? The, the way the, the road comes down because it's a it it's starts to a cul de sac and it's all downhill. It's it's it raining when the snow banks are frozen. So yeah. the snow banks are kind of like uh, the curbing. Mm -hmm. So so the driveway is plowed, there's no snow bank, it, it rides along right down the driveway. So it's only in the winter time that there's a problem? It's the only problem we had when we have it. And that's not the only place we had problems this winter. Yeah. We had it in Woods Run. Same situation. Yeah. yeah. You know, stuff the ground is frozen and the one is no place to go. We just have a lot of snow issues here. At that particular problem down at Woods Run, they had their driveway repaved. It was perfectly flat. That was the whole problem. It was, that was not perfectly flat. They fixed it. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we won't have to go back there in the middle of the night to push 
make a ditch to the road. The fire department spent some time here too, but mm -hmm. busy time. Yeah. Hmm. So, shall we start with cleaning out a swale and some signs and letters to the yeah. residents and so see how that goes? So, that? like, like, um, like clearing, clearing, and, and creating like a ditch line, like a path for the water. Oh, okay. So it's just cleaning out the. Yeah, the debris. It's, it's opening up an area for the water to run. Okay. But that's on our property, not theirs, right? We, I don't want to go on their property. Right, so it's, yeah. our, it's our property that we're doing that to. Yeah, I don't know. Within the right of way of the water service district. Right, right. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. So we have to talk to them too. Yeah. And you think that that will help? Because yeah, there's a place for the water to go. Okay. You know, because the original dish line that was there, they also owners made a dish line that went into that dish line. Of course, we all leave the stuff in there. It's had no place to go. Right? So, mm -hmm. so, so hopefully we can open it up some. I, mean, I spent a few hours down there in the back. We'll be pushing the back last winter just so we can open it up to call it. Yeah, you can put a little water down. Mm -hmm. And you've got the bottom of the hill. We're going to get it. Mm -hmm. so, all right. yep. so do we need to make a vote or anything? or just? I think we have it in a minute. Something else. Awesome. Okay. All right. Uh, computer purchase. Computer purchase. Oh. The computer that we get at the police department. Sometimes you push the letters, you know, they're not working and stuff. It was, it was no, you know, when there's computer and inclusion, I'd like to have one that, you know, works with, you know, we used to lose the internet and stuff. It's, it's just a laptop. Uh, stuff that I, I don't have to have it this year, but I, I mean, I'd rather have a computer that's working and we do use it, you know, all the time. We pull up lots of things and then it keeps a track of all his stuff on it. So, you know, we have extras now from the computers we replace. The two front office computers were back ordered, so we have them now, but they're not yet installed. But yes, we do have, you know, we will have extras. We could make them available, but um, in Windows 2007, which will not be supported after the end of January. So um, they could be used for a while, but should not probably be used consistently for internet after that. Mm. Yeah, so we can get we can get you one of those after they get it all logged in and voted and whatever. Um, so I was just concerned about um, I forget where you said you wanted to take it from. I think we, we still have money and equipment, but we didn't purchase. Well, that concerns me because, well, we're only in July, yeah. and you tend to need things till the end of the year. So that concerns me that we would take something that's not budgeted. And, and well, we didn't buy the paint machine. We're not buying the paint machine. It's four thousand dollars. Is that a warning article? No. No. Okay. But it was budgeted. But it was budgeted. And we have one-on-one, -on -one, so we don't need We're to. We're not buying it now. I mean, we have to pre-use the one. Mm -hmm. the authority, so. well, what was the PO for? 848.20 for computer so and monitor. Seems, yeah, and that's a desktop model. That's right. not a laptop. Right. That just seems like a lot of money. For I, I only speak from the ones that I buy. Which are not high end computers. It's but probably a static drive because he's recommending now that we just buy static drives, which are a little bit more expensive mm -hmm. but more reliable. That's solid that's part state. Of it. Yeah, it's solid state. I, mean, I, I just mentioned this computer, I didn't build it. <laughs> that's not me. Right. <laughs> this, is, this is Tom that gave you this price? Yes. yes. Okay. Would you rather have a laptop? No. Okay. You'd rather have a keyboard and a computer, mm -hmm. a desktop, and a monitor. Well, can we, um, do we have extra monitors now? I'm not sure because um, we're thinking about flux in here, switching offices. Chuck's not in his final setup. Mm -hmm. I, I want him to have two monitors. Mm -hmm. um, He's going to need them for what he's doing. Mm -hmm. He's got a small monitor. Um, mm -hmm. I want to give him one of the bigger ones. He can't use it until he switches space. Um, so they got two new monitors last year. So in this last, we have monitor, monitors around. I just, um, 
let me look into that. I'm not sure if they're compatible or, or you know, what the ratio of computers to monitors is, but we probably have something. Um, okay. I mean, I'd, I'd sort of rather reuse the ones we have, put a new one in next year's budget. I, I get that there's money left over, but... Uh, yeah, something that's going down. But it's always good to run things by the budget committee and have things go. That's I mean, I I understand breakdowns and you know when something is, it breaks and it's unexpected and we have to get something replaced. I get that, and you can't go through the budget committee on that. But when it's we, something we, that's we still have two, you know, still have two computers. I mean, yeah. I, I brought it up thinking we'd be able to you know, we had. Well, I forgot about the the paint machine, but again, I I just feel like we should as much as possible go through the proper process of it. However, if it gets down towards the end of the year or in the middle to the end of the year that um, we um, yeah. we can read re address it. Yeah. You know, at this point, but you know, this, we'll, we'll see what happens if the budget looks like towards the end. Because even if, if it goes through and the budget committee gives it a a blessing and stuff, we can possibly use this year's if we have extra money. Just leave it in the folder. And leave it in the folder. Okay, but if you get into a point where it's, you know, we, we, we have two. We have two. Okay. All right. We still get access. Are you good with that? Yeah. Okay. No, All right. So um, I'm going to keep it in the folder, and you just keep us updated if it um, continues to be an issue. Okay. All right, um, HTA tax order. I did print no. a new copy with signature of the page. Do um, you have it? And the other, those are bills. Yeah, I know. I saw it. Oh, it's in this one? Yes. Okay. Um, this is what um, Aaron. Aaron talked to us about last week. Um, last week. Did you look at it over there? Mm -hmm. Did you look it over? No, okay. But you've talked to him about yeah. this? Yeah, we've been talking about it. And this, you're all in agreement of what this is all yeah. about? What we, what we want to do is just basically maintenance. He's going to try to do this without getting it. Without getting it. Okay, he still has to go through everything. You know, he's thinking that it could be a road maintenance issue. Yeah. And they may not, you know, we may be 75 days out and say, well, give us, we won't need it for that. But he's still got to go through the process. But is this... And that's all part of that. That's part of that. So it won't be as much as what you're saying. Well, I don't know if that's going to change anything. Oh, okay. Their part's not going to change. Because that's their... That's what their work. Yes, that's what I, well, yeah, work. Yeah, work. That I was... This. That's what I thought, too. Okay. I mean, the committee, I don't know what the cost of the committee is, but that's another all but long game. Which we may have to... I don't know what the state Do it next year. I believe permitting is part of that. It's just not the actual work. So you're still going to buy a guardrail and install a guardrail, for example. But they're going to handle all the. I don't believe they're like permitting fees on top of that or anything. Now he he mentioned something about the guardrails that night. Can you kind of educate me again? There is the town can decide what they want to do with guardrails. Apparently, it's not a state law. It's not a requirement. There was no guardrails there. But we can put them there without any. What they may need, it require a permit to put a guardrail in, or we can build our own guardrails, and and it's just something to you know have there. So in case somebody does, you know, so at least slow them down the way. I mean, you know, if they go off the edge of the road, I mean, when the road is, it does drop down on both sides. Yeah. yeah. But there was never anything there other than the New Jersey barriers, and the Jersey barriers are a big headache. In the winter time, because everything stays in the middle of the road, you can't get it beyond the barriers. So your road narrows down by this. The bad news is because the snow is one or over. Did the police the state have a say on guardrails on a it's town a road? It can be it's, well, because it, it's about the wetlands. Because oh, it's about the wetlands. A, it's wetlands. It's all about wetlands, oh, okay. impact on wetlands, and that it's near the. Um, the culvert and, and how the water flows into the culvert and out of the culvert, it has everything to do with wetlands and its proximity to the river. Okay, so it's really about the wetlands, not and, about and the road and, and the guardrails. Right, that's why we need a permit, is because it's a wetlands permit, if we need a permit. 
it's, right. it's a wetlands right. permit. Okay. And then the other thing about the guardrails is I got a price for pike, and they said, you know, it's over 30 miles an hour. It's, you got to have the safety ends on them and all that stuff. I says, how come the state can go out and put post up and, and cables? I says, they're doing that still today. That's not a requirement. They said, well, the state standards. We can't get involved. I says, I'm not asking you to get involved, but I ask you to get me a price. <laughs> so, you know, it, and, and Aaron said, yeah, the, the town can put whatever they want to the yeah. I mean, And my thought was, is we could put six by six posts and we can two by twelve pivots across the front of it and mm -hmm. be good. I mean, it would look, you know, it's like right, better than having nothing. Yeah, than, or the Jersey Bear. And, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, it's about $6,000 for God knows that. I mean, mm -hmm. we can do it for the price of, you know, six by sixes. And, or, I mean, I put it in a guy around and the girl had a couple of places for when I was there. There were no rules on mm -hmm. that, you know, it's just something to protect. You know, yeah. if somebody does slide off, and nobody sees them slide off or mm -hmm. something like that, you'll see the barriers are broken and you'll know something's happened there. Mm -hmm. But, uh, I mean, we get some places in town that, Drop off and consider the fun you know, we got Padre's Lane, we got Pine Street, there's some pretty good drop offs where I've got mm -hmm. So, you know, it's, if we could do it ourselves and it, there's no rules on it, you know, it's, that's why I brought it up. I mean, Jersey Berry is more of a hindrance than, yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, I know why we didn't sign this, because Aaron didn't sign it. Well, we can sign. You all can sign it and send it to Ed. Typically, we sign. You all sign first. You do. Yes. He's presenting something, and he wouldn't sign something he's presenting big to us. It, it's the same with Comcast. What I gave you from Comcast wasn't signed either, because they know they'll sign it. They're presenting it. Okay. They, they just give it to you to consider, and they're not going to sign it until they know that you don't want it any further revised, and that you're really on board with it. What do you think? Yeah, no. I'm You're okay with it? Yeah. Alright, do you want to make a motion? Um, did we approve this? I thought we approved it first. That's what I thought. Uh, I, we, I thought we stopped it. I thought Mike stopped it because it didn't have a signature on it. But I might be wrong. Do you remember? Yeah, I, I think it was just, it wasn't finished. Yeah. yeah. It didn't have the signature page on it. Right. I noticed that when I was wondering, preparing for the meeting. What you know, recall, trying to recall what happened last week, and I and I saw that it didn't have a, a signature portion on it, so we apologized for that and resent the copy. Mm -hmm. I don't know if. I thought I thought my favorite the price. I think he was in favor of the price, but then I think when we went to oh. sign it, there was nothing. Yeah. Or, or there was no place to sign, or it wasn't signed by Aaron, or whatever. There was no place to sign. Okay. All right. So. Okay. So that's a new comment. Sure. So uh, I'll move that we accept the task order proposal from Little Tanner. I'll second it. Eight thousand three hundred sixty-eight dollars. Did we approve it? It said that, that Carolyn was going to uh, let everyone know where the money is coming from. Um, oh. Okay. So you can take it from and the source. Um, if you take it from the culvert fund, that would be the obvious answer. So my, my first response would be we can put it in the operating budget over at roads and road service man, you know, in the road repair and maintenance line, and then if you want to move it into the culvert fund, we can move it into the culvert fund. Yeah. I'm okay. With that. All right. So I move to. You move to accept this proposal mm -hmm. and take it from the Clover Fender. Yeah, the road shop. Okay. All right. I'll second it. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed? Okay. So where do we sign? Um, there's a tag. Look at the yeah. tag on the. But that Aaron's, says Aaron. But, then but it's not to the right. Below. But there's only one signature on it. Doesn't have to be all. Of I don't think it has to be all. Of them, no. Yes, did you put it all in the... Oh, yes, it's 8,368. Okay. Anything else? Thank you.
in one executive session. Do you want to go in an executive session? Probably just, just to talk about it. Okay. Um, uh, I'll move to go into an executive session to discuss a personnel issue. Yeah. All right. Second. Oh, roll call. Yes, Denise, yes. Miles, yes. <laughs> yeah, I knew there was issues with all that. Yeah. It was an oversight on the F5, and so when they forgot to uh, call up, you know, their football was gone, so I called them last Thursday morning and told them, I said, is it your problem or my problem that we get a desk complaint? He said, that's an oversight on F5. He said, I said, what about getting a water truck down there? Of course, they were closed Thursday and Friday, so mm -hmm. the water truck's supposed to be on site now, so they're going to keep it watered until. And then he told me that 15th and 16th are on the schedule, so it'll be next week. Okay, good. So whether it's everything, I haven't talked about it, but we have a two together project, but at least down to a slide, we'll get that. Done. Is all the ditch work done now? Okay. I want to get the road heights. Oh, you, you said that. You said that you're going to go back afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah gotcha. Go back okay. Yeah. Uh, we're not going to do any more on it. Oh, no, we've done that. It's, it's, as much as we need to, we fixed all the water damage and we ditched it. So, you know, responded to Mr. the Liberty, but I haven't got a call back. So, we so he's probably happy with that. So. And that solved the other issue that began well, it down there? Be okay. The issues okay. There. And, you know, it, there was no ditch line. You could see where the truck had driven off yeah. the edge of it and everything like that. And some people were concerned it was deeper than it should be and stuff. It's just an obstacle more than anything because it's, if it's not going in the road, there's not going to be ditch. <laughs> so, like that. Uh, no, that's down. Um, I'm going to take, say, the rest of the slide once I go for this work on the other end, the slide road. So I'm going to have a big say tomorrow, I'll get a big say marked out tomorrow for that. And we will continue on with the excavator until we move to the town of the This month we'll just finish up with that. So. Okay. Great. Thank you so much. All right. All right. Have a good night. Yep. You too. Fire. Fire. You know it's a legal It's a what? <laughs> what? The legal You're not supposed to just yell fire, fire. in the building. Oh. <laughs> Stop, drop, and roll. Uh, a few items. I know you're on vacation next week. Yeah. Sure yeah. Like that. Have you been notified on when we're going to do CPR? I have not. I have not. I have not. No, I don't know. Thank you. I appreciate that. So you that. can get the word out. Okay. Uh, the 22nd. 22nd? Yeah. Oh, this month. Yeah. At the fire station. What day of the week is that? doesn't matter. Monday. Monday. It's a Monday. 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 Okay. Monday. All right. I will pass yeah, that along so and ask them to come out. for our yeah. With their people. You would ask me about um, the townspeople. Can I invite yeah. other people? Anybody that needs to show up can show up. Which is the desire to have their seat care on the first day and stuff. And what happened is, you know, I told you I kept waiting for Sean mm -hmm. here and stuff to try to get a day and just didn't have to have. This is an individual who works for York Fire Department and something like that. Carry the ball as a lead instructor. Mm -hmm. If Sean's available, he's going to help. Mm -hmm. And then I also have another individual who's going to help. We're going to have a multitude of instructors there. So nice. uh, we can get one of those other three that needed it. Thank you. So we can get that all squared away and whatever. Town personnel wish to, if you can maybe give me a number. About how to do that? That would be helpful. And I know we're starting with three. Mm -hmm. um, and they're also going to do some members within the fire department that year. So it's going to be a full house. That's all we're going to have some instructors. Good. That's fine. Thank yeah. you for doing we're that. We're going to knock off a whole bunch of birds at the same time. Okay. Okay. Um, I want to inform you the reason why I'm wearing my zoot suit is uh, just came from the uh, wait for on the ground. Tomorrow's his service. It's at 11 o'clock funeral home. Not saying he can be there, but we'll be over here at the cemetery at 11:30ish for uh, his final resting place. If it's if you wanted to know that, so good. Thank you. There's that. Information. I'll be going anyway. Um, so I can represent this like for okay. you guys to make it. Yeah, and then, I mean, we would had some requests from the family, but they didn't want to do. Any large drawn out there, you know how these things can be. Yeah. And, um, so 
So basically, I was going to have we're going to show up tomorrow because the members of the fire department have to call there. That's the one thing that they want us to do. So we will show up tomorrow and, of course, do our thing at the funeral home for the Harris Hearst to the site here. We're going to have the engine in a procession along with the command vehicle. So the families may ride in the fire department apparatus, which I approved. And it's the least we can do for them for 20 plus years to serve our community. So uh, that's our involvement. We have software covering us if we have something in the middle of all this. So we we'll cover it on our bases. Thank you. Yeah. The uh, one PO that I have for tonight is number uh, 1618. It's for a total of $340. And it's to the Seacoast Chief Fire Officers Mutual Aid District. Big long word. <laughs> what it's for is every year they assess us a few first air pack that we have in the fire department. They do they do this for every fire department that belongs in the mutual aid district. And the number used to be in the twenties, now it's approaching four. More and more communities are joining the association for the district. So what they do is uh, every fire department, the number of packs they have and assess you twenty two dollars per pack. Basically that's for service if we go to when we went to Elliot a few weeks ago and they burned up the marijuana place, they pull the trailer came out of rye, which fills the air packs on scene. And that's what a lot of this assessment money goes for, is the maintenance and the ability to have those uh, units available for any community that needs it in an instance like that. And we used it that night, so we filled up, you know, our guys are running out of that building a couple, three times, so we probably filled up a dozen times, so they stuck to pay back some more we're doing that. So there's the field for that. All right, I'll move and purchase order. 1618 to Seacoast Chief Fire Officers Mutual Aid, $340 for briefing apparatus support. I'll second it. Any questions? So it's says $22 per pack, so that's 15 to have. That's how many you have. Okay. Any other questions? Nope. Did you get all the info? All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed? And that my nice little photo for you if you have some quick stuff you want to have. Um, I, I'll take it so you can keep your folder. How's that? Okay. You just give me this stuff. I see. I don't have a folder. Well, I do appreciate that. Um, and I'll give you back your time. We have a pretty good right. invoice part of the so, And then great. I have this other little slip here for you. Very the numbers Very are on good. the bottom. I gave you the CPR information. So I am up to date. For all the business I have, anything for me? Big letters, look at that right there. Kind of CPR. Yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, Randy Saucier has got connections with these individuals, and so he works with them in the shipyard and he wants to do it. And a lot of the stuff is these instructors that teach CPR and first aid and whatnot, they are required in order to keep certification to teach so many hours over the course of the year. Mm -hmm. So if you have your instructor certain you can do that. So that's part of why he's looking for some work to do. And I told you the other day we were having trouble finding a lot of stuff because it was $20 a piece for a CPR mm -hmm. card. This gentleman's going to go back to the old number. Fine. Nice. All right, so how are we going to pay for that if you're doing it correct? I'll find out. Okay. okay. All right. But we should. Well, it's 15 bucks. I got to do my folks anyway, so it can come out of our, our first aid line within the fire department budget. So it's going to be fine. I'm going to put it over next year, though. Yeah, you know. so I'm just saying. Yep. You know, I understand that. We'll have to do the resources to take care of it. Thank you. Administration Space Needs Committee. So the notice has gone out mm -hmm. with the draft for the new Space Needs Committee. Um, there's not yet any response of interest for that. I will keep you posted. 
Um, with regard to the facilities director, um, Mr. Fortier has spent a lot of time over the last couple of weeks here. He's looked at all the systems. Um, he thought at first that the ACs were not drawing outside air. Now he thinks they probably are, and the reason for his confusion was that um, it looks like the, the filters might never have been changed, or, or not in, you know, a despicable number of years, and they were quite just not operational. Um, really disgusting. So he's going to send me a link um, for filters to buy. He, he put in filters that can work in the short term um, until I can buy the right filters for him to install. He'll get us that far. Um, you all just approved a purchase order for annual maintenance on the ACs. I have not processed those payments because I'm wondering what we're paying for because those filters should have been changed mm -hmm. or should have been checked. Are they in a spot that it's not? I, I don't know, but to my mind, you know, yeah, that's why you pay you a know professional that, to I come mean, and inspect these My things. home air conditioning has a filter, and I know I need to change it. Um. So, the other thing he suggested was having an AC company come in and clean out the coils. But if the... So, that may never have been done either. And if that's done with new filters, the ACs might do much better. Uh, it does beg the question, what are they doing for maintenance? Because that is the maintenance. There's no other, like, teeth. Exactly. That is the maintenance. Mm -hmm. So I will be following up with Townsend, but at the same point, I'm not really sure that it's worth having the conversation because clearly they haven't been doing things because we're having issues. So he's going to get me the name of a different vendor that does work on ACs. We can evaluate the pricing and then decide. Now, these are the there. units that are outside, right? No, there is one unit outside. It's the new unit in the corner on the gravel by mm -hmm. the parking lot. Mm -hmm. The others are inside. Where? Somewhere within the confines of the police department. That's a... It's not in where the boiler room is? Um, I believe some are in that area. I think maybe two are in that area. Maybe the others are on the other side of the building. I'm honestly not sure. Hmm. But I know that when the last one died, like two years ago, they weren't able to put it, where, you know, it just made more sense to put it outside. Mm -hmm. So they drilled a hole and put it outside. Mm -hmm. We're learning a lot about this building, but, and, and he will write it into a report so that there will be kind of a maintenance report for Richard because Richard didn't know that also um, filters on the vent system need changing to those have gone by. It, there's nothing to remind people that certain things need to happen. So he's going to write up his findings and that will be helpful. Mm -hmm. um, he, he's still very reluctant to recommend that you all um, approve the lighting proposal. Not because it's not a good idea, but because we know that the AC systems are old. And he would like to see them wrapped up into the same package. And the problem with that, which I'm trying to help him understand, is that while he could manage that project of specking out AC systems and finding the vendor to install them and pricing it out and finding a different vendor to do the lighting and pricing that out and then working with the state for the loan forgiveness program is altogether turning into a lot of work beyond the scope and experience that anybody here is trying to do. Yeah. So while it's very enticing to think about holding off and wrapping more into it, and for sure there would be money savings in doing so, it just speaks again to the point that we, we still don't have, even though he's doing this for us, and he's finding all this low-hanging fruit of, he's getting a little bit excited about all these things that he's finding that are to him kind of quick and easy fixes, but we still don't have the staff to implement and manage. So we're going to have to take the information he provides and then figure out what to do with that. That being said, he's still reviewing 
all of um, like the plans for the old renovation, the, the van will report, other information that we have on file that about maintenance that we know that's happened. He's digesting that, he's on vacation this week, then I'm on vacation next week, we'll touch base when I return. Um, but he did make clear that he recommends that to really know what's going on with this building, you fund a full engineering study for tens of thousands of dollars. You can pick away at things in the meantime, but you don't really know what's going on until you do that. So that'll be part of the report. It's just something to think about as we're heading into budget stuff. Um, and as far as the police consulting firms go, um, I think everybody's just on vacation for the summer, but there's radio silent out there. There's just nobody getting back to me about that. So I will continue to try. And we have our source proposal. They're not getting back to you either? They are not getting back to me either. They keep saying we'll have it to you shortly, and, and yet not. Okay. Wetlands? Uh, that's per permit by notification, and that's this big um, conglomeration of paperwork you have in front of you. Miles is holding a revised version of the permit application. Mm -hmm. um, the first few pages, or the, the first eight pages, um, is the application. Everything after that are all of the specifications, appendices, and the supplemental documentation for it, um, the permit application. They're looking for a signature, I believe, on that page there. Um, I'm drawing your attention to a newly printed version rather than this old version just because I had them. Um, they, they had put my name to sign off and I had them change it to select board. So they reprinted it. That is the person on behalf of Green Mountain Power oh, okay. applying for the permit. So where do we need to send? Right in the middle of, right there. To the slash city clerk? No, maybe above that. Authorized commission signature? No, that's down. So that's okay. that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, keep reading. That's the city clerk, conservation commission. Because the town clerk does need to sign up on this as well. No. Yes. Oh, here. Property. Here. Page three. Page three. It's really funny. She didn't, you know, but she just crossed it out. That's kind of funny. So, I don't know that there's a... I don't think this, there's no place to see. Yeah, there isn't really a signature. So just sign But they did want your signature. Oh. This is part of that. Yeah. So, in this block... I would just sign your name next to select board and... Yeah, maybe we'll... I'll sign on... Can you sign on the other Yeah. Phone? Happily. So this is their state wetlands permit for impacting the river to okay. do the work to repair the dam. Okay. Get your pages all out of order. That's okay. I'll figure it out. <laughs> All right, uh, meeting schedule. All right, I had sent you a proposal. You had also sent out a proposal. So, what do you think we should do? Um, I, I I like your uh, proposal uh, better. <laughs> <laughs> um, for the record, our proposal is to effective in July. We're going to meet every other week. Um, and um, and we will be responsible to go into the office on a weekly basis to approve invoices, payroll, whatever it is that we sign tonight. We will have to make sure that we get into the office and we can work around that right. together of who does what, when, and she'll tell us, get in here. <laughs> so um, that's our proposal. I did, I've done a proposal from July to uh, December. And um, anyone any other comments? 
question. So just for some background, um, at last week's event, <coughs> I got asked by at least five different people, why is the select board meeting every single week? And I was like, well, why are we meeting every single week? And so I went and looked online, and I found five towns in the area, Elliott, South Berwick, Lee, Barrington, Madbury, they only meet twice a month. Um, so I feel like we need to get with the program. Um, I don't think it's going to be any less work um, besides the hours that we sit here and um, hash over the stuff on the agenda. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's a, it's a great idea. We can try it and see what yeah, happens. Yeah, we can try it. And, it. and if it will it, it entice someone to step up and join us, um, that's even did you ask them if they were interested when they would ask you? I'll switch if you get on board. <laughs> um, but we can um, we can try it, and there might be times, especially during budget time, that we may have to meet more often, um, which will be so noted on the. Um, and do um, additional postings. And different additional postings. So um, we um, want to vote on it then? Sure. Okay. I'll move that we adopt the uh, proposed schedule that, um, that you proposed via email um, for select board meetings. All right, and I'll second that. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Very good. Okay, so there's no meeting next week. There's right? no meeting next week. That's oh. correct. And it's starting today is our first July meeting. So, um, so we are. It is every other week is based on that. And I think even the holidays fell correctly. Yeah. If I looked. Like, oh, next week is fifteen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. All right. Go ahead. So um, maybe we can put a little blurb on. Oh, um, I'll post it. Yeah, and, and I'll write, write, I'll write the rest the, the of the red dates down that this is our proposed there. ones, and hopefully um, people will see that. Um, but yeah, let's try it. Yep. Okay, sounds great. Um, budget timeline. Um, I'm requesting or suggesting to the board that um, you all pick a deadline for department heads to be on notice to have their budgets submitted to the board so that you can start reviewing proposals. Um, the CIP committee is hoping to have final recommendations to the board by the first, approximately the first week in August. That'll get me now because we have to go with one of those meetings for stormwater. Um, yes, the last one is the same as Stormwater. Yeah. So, um, but additionally, I'm not sure, um, I've, I've emailed the chair to see if they're going to meet this week because the department heads were supposed to pick a week. One of the choices was this week, but I don't know what think this week, so. Okay. But, you know, I, I'm not sure how expedient that, that process really is going to be, but that's their goal, so. Okay. Um, well, I think that we need to definitely move um, our schedule up way earlier than we did last year. So um, I would say maybe, um, when did you say that they were going to be done with uh, the CIP? But CIP had a meeting scheduled for August 8th, but now that's a stormwater public hearing, or 7th or 8th, I don't recall. So now there's a conflict, and so they will reschedule that last meeting. But okay. probably for just the week after, they're really trying to be done in early August. Okay, so maybe we can um, pick a department starting on the August 19th and have a department show up, or depending what our schedule looks like. What is that? That's the 19th is Monday. The 19th. That's a Monday. So that's that a night, night, that's that's a night we're meeting. Night. So possibly we can have just the three, or is it more? What do you consider? Is highway police fire? Oh, town. So, um. Well, you can also have them, you know, submit it by some time earlier, and yeah. then they can come talk about it on the 19th, so you've already yeah. kind of seen it. All right. Um, well, what about the, well, let's, let's aim for the 5th, then, um, for them to submit it to us. That gives them, that gives them four weeks. If they haven't started thinking about their budget already, I, 
I mean, I'm, and I'm hoping we're not going to have some huge purchases. Actually, we've had some pretty bulky ones a couple of years. But how about the fifth? So okay, so just to us by the fifth, but then to present to the board on the nineteenth. Yeah. And if they're who are they submitting it to? You. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, and then I will get it, get to it us? into. Um, I will get it into the master spreadsheet, and then okay. they can supply, and you'll have the narratives. You'll, you'll get it, you know, okay. either to the board or to me. But okay. um, All right. you'll have it at that same time. So I'll submit. Budgets. Okay. All right, and then once we see what we got, then we can decide in our meetings. We have to. Yeah. Have them discuss things with. So, okay. All right. That sounds good. And um, so, who does the town one? You? I thought that it would make sense for me to go look at expenses and propose okay. something. It doesn't have to be that way. It's just a no, starting point. No, that's fine. Point. No, I think that's fine. Um, so we're going to go over budgets anyway um, for our budget committee. So, but no, I think that if you can at least give us a suggested means, and then we can work on it from there. Um, now, tax collector, does she do a budget? Not per se. Okay. They, they kind of speak to whatever out of the ordinary things they might anticipate, but they don't necessarily look at all their lines mm -hmm. and agree or propose changes to them. Okay. It, 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 they don't tend to work in quite the same way. Um, the town park's a little bit more structured where everything's election related mm -hmm. and multiplied by the number of elections. But even she, the only two lines for her that might fluctuate are voting booths, mm -hmm. which she does not intend to purchase because yeah. people tend to want to sit down now. So those are the inexpensive cardboard things. And the um, payments to the state mm -hmm. for um, births, deaths, and marriages. So she can lend some insight into that, but she has more at play because of elections. But um, well, the balance themselves, the program the balance will cost a lot more for the in elections. Right. 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 Yes. yes, it's all and a factor. And she'll have to supply that as well. Like the dollar amount. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. So just. You can inform them as well. And I'll send it to all the departments. Very good. Yes. Thank you. All right. Um, DMV printer. We talked about it. We don't have an answer yet. Just leave it on there and see what she comes up with. But yes. Um, approval of septic plans. So um, there are septic plans in your folder for approval. Um, it's just a reminder that it's. Um, I put it on the agenda because I knew that you would be talking about your meeting schedule. Mm -hmm. Septic plans is one of the things that's going to get held up with a new schedule. So does the board want to revisit the idea of allowing Tom Clark to approve them? Yeah, I mean, I don't know what I'm looking at. I'll, I'll approve them. But yeah, exactly. I, it makes much more sense for someone that has some sort of background. Mm -hmm. No, is this in addition to what they have already? This is um, what do you mean, on Clement Road. There's our house there, right? Yes, there's a house there. This is what's called the pocket plan. This is the standby plan because they got approval by planning for an accessory dwelling unit. So um, this is the situation where their septic, current septic, does not support that many bedrooms. So should it fail, there's a filed plan on record that they can implement. Uh, so it's not that they're looking to construct anything. Okay. They're just supposed to file and get approval of the state should they need to All right. fix anything. So do we want to have Tom sign this one and stamp it, or do we want to do this one? Oh, Tom has reviewed it. Tom's reviewed them. Yeah. He's, yeah so, so he's not. You, um, can, you can stamp them. It's just it's more about going forward than. So you do, do probably. Have a motion to authorize him. Yeah, do you want to review this first and then we can do yeah. the motion to have him going forward do it? Yep. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, I saw the, saw the construction there. Yeah. All right, so we're going to stamp this one. 
So there are three cover sheets there. There are three different septic plans. Oh, the if you look at the map and lot numbers, they're a little oh, bit I different. Oh, I see. Okay. So one is the Clement Road accessory dwelling unit. Got it. A second one is the first house on Oldenburg Lane. It's a revised permit. It's a, you know, they already had an approval. This is okay. a different, slightly different plan. And then the third, um, I'm asking you to approve, but I'm going to hold. It's for a, a different lot on Oldenburg Lane. Okay. And they've all been reviewed according to this by time. Yes. And he has signed all of, all of the print, um, prints as well. Yes. So we put this town stamp here on the, all three of them, right? Yes? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And we sign inside. Yes. Or you can sign along the lines above it. It doesn't have to be precisely signed on the stand. Oh. You prefer to write along the lines. Otherwise, well, I said four, then I can yeah. stick it. with 
not a lot of written material to fall back on. And so while I'm hopeful that we will over time get a consistent rec director, we still, I think, for liability reasons, need to really work on policy and process. And um, I've discussed with the committee members job descriptions, very concise, small job descriptions for committee members so that they can identify all the parts of what has to happen and volunteer for job descriptions and that will help them recognize um, the depth of what's required with each of those jobs and whether or not they can really handle that full job description and what it's going to take to do it well for next year. Um, but we're having some problems that shouldn't be happening in year three. And, and we have to figure out how to get past that so that we're smoother and sustainable going forward. I agree. We definitely need to um, react much earlier, for sure, on staff, make sure that we are covered um, and that we get our documentation into town hall and we get our interviews done and we just and there's learning or training opportunities before if they're not new people coming back. So absolutely, we need to work on this. So I didn't realize that this is year three, what was happening prior to this? Nothing. You mean prior to year one, two, and three? Yeah. Um, it was done by a Was it the? the summer rec was done by a committee and they had a director that was there for a long time. And it was just done with kind of a, a different um, a different set of values that didn't mesh with modern liability standards, I guess. It was more of what I think you and I would have remembered. The kids came and Yes, the kids came and went, and there were activities, and they could join or not. And, um, and a lot of parents raised concerns about dropping their kid off, and then they don't know where their child is and whether or not the child went home and who last saw the child. And so that alarmed the board um, at the same time that the active committee members were stepping down and the director was retiring. And so given all that, the board just decided, given the concerns and the level of getting it back up to what it needs to be, we're not, we don't have the resources to get it there. And so that's going to be the end of summer recreation. And um, when it came budget time and the public was learning of this, interested, motivated parents stepped forward and said, we can do this. And so the board allowed them to recreate a new summer recreation program, which they've done by and large. And it is, as I said, vastly better than it ever was before with regard to the concerns that parents had. And, and there are much more interesting field trips, they do more, they're getting grants. It's They put in a lot of work and they're doing a great job. We just need to keep them engaged or get other people to help them through the winter to get the other 15% or so we need to get it documented so that we're not at risk of some certain things happening that could happen. And, and just to make sure that we have processes in place so that when money's coming in for certain things, um, people don't have to wonder about how do I make sure I know what it's for, but there's already a, a process in place and they're just implementing it and then they've been onboarded with plenty of time to know what that process is. Okay. So I think they can do it and we might need to find some help. They're very talented. I just think they need a directive from the board, though, that we're, we're at the point where we need to get to where it needs to be. And once we're there, then, then you can tweak things forever more, but you just kind of get, out of, get, out, get up to this extra next level. Yep. And it might cost the town some money as well, because if we're, if we're looking to have the director or assistant director or whatever, um, stepping up and starting earlier, that's not really part of registration and pro programming costs. It may be something that we ha may have to put in some money from the town level. Because right. it's our expectation for that to happen, not the programs. I mean, it all helps the program, but 
Yeah. Um, but it might be, you know, it, years back, um, there was a lot of money put into the summer program. It wasn't self um, supported. And they've done an amazing job to make those goals as much as possible. And But I think it, in order to have the directors part of the process of um, uh, implementing the program, having them there and working it out so it's their program, not us telling them what their program is. I think well, we need yes. to, we really need to work on that. Part well, of it. also you have very few people bearing an enormous burden mm -hmm. with a lot of responsibility, and it's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. And they've done it already for three years. And right. so, if any one of them goes, they're jeopardizing the whole program. Right. And as much as we can mm -hmm. get things documented and have a consistent director will help alleviate that burden, so hopefully they won't burn out, right. and will likewise encourage other people to step up and help. So, At this point, is, is it, REC is completely self-sustaining and contributes to the town? Or no. It's, it's, There's not any no. country. Well, the it town will, will so pay what we can raise. So it was the directive yeah. of the yeah. board at the time when there was to be no more seconds, summer rep that if this new group wanted to recreate it, that they must um, have revenue to meet all the expenses. Mm -hmm. You can't exactly forecast that because yeah, of the it's... equation of one more child means you've got a second bus, mm -hmm. and and that you know yeah. the, the math is kind of funny, but the intent was supposed to be there. They're very close to that, and they do a really great job with that, but like Denise said, you know, that, that was that was a value statement of that board at that time. Mm -hmm. You all are a different board, and you can remember that REC didn't used to be that. It no. used to be supported by the town because it was something that the town valued for the children of the town. So there, there's not a right or wrong position about that. Mm -hmm. It's a value statement. Mm -hmm. But they are going to need some kind of likely to get to where they need to be. I, I believe they will be. I mean, you're still going to have your registration, you're still going to have your, your tuition to go, um, but there's still, I think there's going to have to be some um, contribution from the town side of it. Not much, I mean, but yeah. just enough to get, so we can have our directors be part of the process yeah. and the planning processing, instead of starting July and, mm -hmm. and we're telling them what to do. Um, they should be part of it. Yeah, I mean, at this point, a lot of this extra work is falling to you and your office. Well, it is certainly yeah. impacting my office, so which was the other concern. One way or the other. Well, that, that's well, that's true. not going to go away though, because it's she is gonna the one away. that's going to have to collect the money from us. The, or the, from there's us. certain parts mm -hmm. of it that are always going to be on my office, mm -hmm. but it was one of the concerns of the select board at that time. The conditions of recreating the program was that we, they, we also didn't have the human resources to offer in support, and so. Volunteers, you must do that because we can't, and that's yeah. one of the reasons why the town was going to not continue the program is because we really didn't have the human resources to do what now must still be done: create all these policies and process and forms and pamphlets and all these things. So, I think it still will be on my office, but um, to some degree, but less so if there are things in writing that committee members and employees can reference. But we can't go back to them we're having their own checkbook and all of that. that no, is, no, 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 that is no, still no. Everything still has to run through this office where before they used to have their own checkbook. And that was an audit concern. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, that's just not something you can go back with. Can't go back Yeah, with. yeah. But, so there's still going to be um, her office that's going to have some. So is, is this a conversation we, that the board needs to have with the direct committee? Or? I, I think it's enough that the ex officio and I are aware of the consensus of the board. Yeah. We can handle it. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I, I think if, if they're up for it, they might say we're burnt out and we're not doing that. I, I don't hoping, think that will happen. I'm but. hoping that if, if we can get as far as job descriptions, then we at least can quantify the problem. Right. We can quantify the need. Mm -hmm. And then they can sign up for whatever they individually feel like they can handle. And then we can solicit help from people who now have enjoyed three years of great programming and want to see it continue. They can volunteer for what still needs to be done. Um, 
Are we charging enough for summer work? That's a really interesting question. Well, that is um, kind of like the conflict that I've had with them because I think we can charge more, but they try to keep it as, as yeah, um, affordable. affordable as they possibly can. And that was but, one of the selling points of mm -hmm. when when it was to be dissolved and, and they're no longer. Part of the outcry was that it was something that the parents and families relied on, mm -hmm. particularly because it wasn't very expensive. So it was something you could do with your child to make sure that they had something to do for the summer. And that was the appeal of it. And it's, it is absolutely the least expensive thing to do with your child in the seacoast. Mm -hmm. um, but again, it's a, it's a value statement. You can do more and charge more, make it better, but then you're pricing out some families. Yeah. You know, so, so what is the goal? You know, I think the committee has to sort of step back, and we, we kind of touched on that at the last meeting, step back and think about what are we trying to achieve and who's the audience and, and why are they doing this? And so what is, the pro what is the program supposed to look like? How many field trips? Is it just the state parks, which is least expensive? Yep. Or is it the fancier, cooler field trips, which are more money, and then you have to charge for that? So I think that will be part of the process, is sort of redefining what they're trying to offer. Mm -hmm. Okay. So are you like in favor of us kind of pursuing this out uh, uh, Absolutely, yeah. Okay. I mean, I, I think it's, it's a very valuable program that should continue if it can. Okay. Good. Sure. Thank you. All right. Um, Building permit schedule fees. So you have, um, I printed it out and it's somewhere in front of you. Yep. Um, there you go. So Tom revised it. What The original intent of this was that it added some fees that currently don't exist. It was not intended necessarily to raise fees, though in some cases it kind of does. Um, I wanted to remind you, because you may not be aware, um, you might both be new to this topic, but the septic review fee is a new fee. Um, he kept it as $25 because it was, that is the current fee and it is a new fee. Um, the proposal here is just to get in one sheet something that's organized that people can reference about the fees. But that doesn't necessarily mean that they're the fees that he would suggest. He suggested at the time of septic plan review fees that it be $50 because it reflects more his time in reviewing it and approving it. So, you know, that's not to say that he's requesting that you change it right now. It's just a point of information that um, this is just about putting it all on one page. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that he won't suggest revisions going forward. Um, some of it is new. Demolition permits did not used to require a fee. It makes sense that there would be a fee to make sure that um, systems are shut off properly when they're hooked up to utilities and, and things like that. The $50 fees, for the most part, are fees that um, did not require, um, there was no fee for those things, but they do require it. What's the sign permits? $50 per sign? It is part of our zoning ordinance that if you are to erect a sign, you need a building permit for that. So I'm not sure that you need... A business. Yes. Okay. Okay. And there are regulations about how high and how big and whether or not it's lit and all these things. Oh, okay. Um, What's a sidewalk sign? I believe that means, you know, like a sandwich board. Oh, oh, oh. But that's I'm not sure why. Then, like, but why would that's do movable, that? so I'm not really sure. That part, does, I, I don't know. That doesn't really make sense to me because for something that's not attached or. You move it, you bring it in every night. Yeah. Well, what if you're advertising, 
like say for instance the, uh, the church is advertising their fair at the Legion, are they going to be charged bucks. 50 bucks per sign? Mm -hmm. I don't believe that's its intent, but I can certainly... And we need a clarification that's that. fine. Or, you know, the pancake breakfast at the fire department, it, you know, I mean... Well, they're, you well, know, they're all signs. They are, I just well, make sure. You know, you know I, I don't understand. think the intent is to do it for town and school entities. Um, but I think it's just part of the Durham language, so I will, I will clarify for them. Because, like, the Legion does their signs for their breakfast, mm -hmm. so, you know, their, their business, so to say. Oh, I, I'm so, with you. And yeah. you can also just delete that, and, you know, it can just be sign permits. Or we can delete sign permits altogether because they're going Well, I think permits. that you do have to have some kind of, um, um, some kind of a rule for yeah. the business that's going to have their signs, um, you know, an actual business as in manufacturing or, or, I mean, I think you should have some control over that, or say, but not lights sidewalk. and... But we can just delete, the, you know, sidewalk signs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know why you'd have to have that. Yeah, I mean, I... I think if we remove including sidewalk signs, to me, that puts it on the business. Um, not mostly business. I mean, I can't think of trying to think about. But like, say, like Alexander's. I mean, they they have it now, but they wouldn't have to. If they change their sign that mm -hmm. is outside by the road, I mean, they would have to pay a fee for that. They but it also has to be. That. that that's that's. Yes, you need a building permit for any kind of business yeah. sign, and it's very regulated how big and how high right. it would be. I'm okay with that. But, I mean, to have, um, you know, the, the um, A-frame signs for advertising, I, I don't, know what else it would I don't be. Yeah. necessarily agree to that. You can approve it without the sidewalk signs, or yeah. I can go back and just, you know, see if that means anything that we're not understanding to me. So this also includes the language that would impose a, a, a fee of two times the normal permit fee for, for unpermitted work. That's that's that that's is new, right? that is new, and and the point of that is that people don't bother to check, and people do try to get away with not getting a permit. So what I think might make sense if you want to keep that in there is to um, put an email posting out there and just let people know that um, people don't seem to be aware of all our building permit regulations. Please be aware of our My only change problem with this is for emergency work, hole in a roof. And I think it's still, discretionary. Yeah. Um, he works with people over those things. When you have a hole in the roof, you can't wait for two weeks for your building permit to get repaired. Mm -hmm. You know, you right. can tell us what's going on. If you tell us, if you, you tell us what's going on, then that's notification, and I would think that that would be because you know then we're aware. We know you get the permit, and it takes longer, mm -hmm. but we at least know mm -hmm. while you're working. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, it just gives you the teeth so that should you have an infraction that's egregious, that you feel needs further action. Mm -hmm. I don't think he would use that as his discretion. That would be up to the board. I think he would come to the board and say this is the situation. I would mm -hmm. suggest that we need to go to the next level with it. And mm -hmm. you would understand the situation. That's not something to take lightly mm -hmm. with those kinds of fees to right. mind. Okay. I'm, I'm good with it. I really like this layout. Mm -hmm. um, it's with, for it. Yeah, mm -hmm. with the exception of the sidewalk signs. Yeah, I would say if we took that off, I'm okay with it okay. too. So um, I'll, I'll move we um, accept the um, the schedule of building and construction. I guess he's calling it building construction permit and inspection fees um, with the removal of sidewalk signs. All right. I'll second it. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion passed.
said that you weren't ready for policy review, so um, you can talk about conceptually anything that I've presented to you. I don't have any new versions for you tonight. Given the hour, and given that I'll have three hours to myself next Monday night, um, I, I move that we table these and maybe pick one that we can. I, I think that the board policy might be a place board. to start, so that you you know it'll. It would be nice if the board policy is in place in whatever form, so that when you have a new member on board, there's something to hand them and. Know how you operate. All right, I'll come into working on that as well. Okay. All right, um, board member activities and updates. Um, last week I had nothing. This week I was uh, I have a scheduled uh, CIP meeting at. Is it 6 or 6.30? It's at 6.30. Okay, 6.30. But, um, but we think that might... I think it might change. That's okay. not up to me, so we'll see. Um, I think that's... that's it this week, planning board was canceled. for Alrighty. Um, I plan on attending this morning one meeting on this coming Wednesday. Let's see how things are going. Um, I don't have anything else. Um, as far as I know. Um, how about you? There's a lot going on. Um, a, it's a busy little town. Um, the zoning board met mm -hmm. last week to hear a proposal for subdivision on Silver Street, um, the former Bennett property. Oh. It encroached on the river setback by, I believe, 75 feet on two lots. And the zoning board did not look favorably upon it, but did not also did not take a formal vote. They encouraged the applicant to submit a revision. So they gave a general guideline that may be an encroachment of not more than 50 feet on one of the lots and maybe moving um, the other home to a different location so that it's not encroaching might be better. But um, they, they were taking very seriously the encroachment on that river setback. So that was the only application for planning, um, which is why planning got canceled, um, because he did not get approval for that plan. He knew that that was a, a risk filing for both at the same time without the ZBA approval. So the ZBA is meeting on the, I believe, 18th. We're meeting sometime next week, sometime or 18th next week, to hear the revision. Mm -hmm. That's all I have. That's all? All right. Um, review of correspondence. We're waiting for the school still. Okay. Yeah. Did you tell them that we were waiting to hear what their actions were going to be? Yes. And, okay. and they're not meeting until August, so that's going to be there for okay. a bit. All right. Um, or it's not on their agenda until August. Okay. I have a purchase order for Coco Key Water Park. Uh, purchase order number 1647 for seven admission tickets at $45 a piece for a total of $315. This is for... Um, um, I'll second that. Right. I'm sorry? Like oh, sure. Um, any further discussion? Oh, no. Okay. Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Uh, motion passed. Um, I also have one 1646 for Hilltop Fund Center. Quantity of 12 for Hilltop Fund Center tickets for Teen Camp at $35 a piece with a total of $420. I second that. Any further discussion? Nope. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion passed. All right. Could you just put a note on both of those that I, I'm not sure if it's necessary that I write use a credit card, but just so that I may if it's. Are you okay with credit card being used? Now? Yes.
need this bag. Yeah. Okay. That's a great toy store. <laughs> Uh, 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 so I need to see it for a moment. There you go. Alrighty. Um, community, in community input? Yes. So, you may pull, um, last year we were able to, at least for Hilltop, get invoiced. We were in talks with both of those companies to have them invoice us. So, hopefully, the credit card will not be used. Okay. We will let you know. Alright. Thank you. And you're not meeting again until the 22nd. Is that correct? Right. That is correct. So we will have another invoice for you that night. Okay. All right. Um, anything? Yes. Um, I just have a question as to when you're going to be posting and putting it out there for the new select board. It's out. It's already out. It's not out. It's going out. Oh. I'm, I'm working yeah. on it. So working this on week, it. for the next couple of days. And also, is it your? Is it up to you or is it up to the budget committee to post for the budget committee's opening? That's posted. It only just got posted, but it is posted. Mm. Okay. Must it come in an email today? I'm not sure if it's gone out via email today. It's posted paper today, so it should go out any day now via email. But they've been directed to send emails to the select board since I'm on vacation next week and to make themselves available for the meeting on the 24th. Okay. Anything else? No? Okay. We do have to go into non-public or personnel and oh, and welfare. Right. I move we uh, go into non-public for personnel. Okay, I second it. Now roll call. Miles? Yes. Denise? Yes. And we will be adjourning right after um, 